Open the app to DJI Go. And of course it needs to calibrate because it has not been flown for more than a year. Okay. So I have to rotate this. So, ready to go. Our point is to fly over there. But let's test first if we can control it because it has not been flying for more than one year. So let's try. Clear that out. And here we go. And let's record the whole thing. There you go. I almost forgot the record. I think I need to compensate a little bit here. Is it working? What's going on anyway so trying to fly no wow that is really powerful and now it's up there let's try the controls though let me see. Wait a minute. It's a little dark, so okay. Okay. I'm trying to push forward. It's going okay. Okay. Let me just check if it is recording. And I'll turn it towards us let's see if we can see us on the video so there we are let me get closer and it's too powerful and here we are hi so now we are going am I recording let me check yes we are recording we are going towards that area there where there is the golf course that is now abandoned because of the corona. Now I'm turning around slowly and going up. And here we go. Pushing forward. Let me raise the camera up a little bit. And let's go. So our altitude is 11 meters. Let's go up. May crash on the tree, so let's go up a little bit. Now we are on 16 meters, 18 meters now. And we are 71 meters away. The good thing about this is that you can see it even if it's far away. And in Japan, you have to see uh, the visual line of sight rule of flying the drone. And you can see here, these are parts of this abandoned golf course. Are flying over straight actually and it's now actually deserted it's like becoming a desert it's, it's sad actually uh, nobody has been playing here since the pandemic and this was really lush and beautiful before and I'm now around 300 400 meters away and I can still see it that's so good and I think we're gonna stop here and then fly a little higher let's see if we can so this is a very long golf course you can still see the shapes of 
this shots and no, it goes like four kilometers length or even more because it has to cross the bridge under the bridge and now I'm having difficulty now of receiving the video feed but I have rest I have approached the limit of the height which is 144 so I'm gonna turn around this is the Tonegawa River anyway I'm gonna fly back but I'll let the drone look down and see what is the look of this abandoned golf course now I'm flying back moving back now and this, the shape is actually still very nice to see you can just imagine that it was really green before and lots and lots of people come here to play golf but now it's just abandoned and it's becoming like a desert so that's the edge of it and it's returning on our top at least you can see us here there I think you can see the car I'm still recording still working pretty well it's responding to my control so let me see I'll raise it up and look at the sunset which is not very good looking at this time there you go and then I'll try to land and slide and that's it supposed to be landing right now we are at 51% power it's landing while it's looking at Menuma let me adjust a little bit the lighting Let's see exposure compensation here and then let's control a little bit so it come comes nearer to us Okay. And here we go. There's something wrong with the gimbal, I think. It is now landing, but when I it's too fast. <laughs> it's actually it actually fell or something something is wrong but yeah it's still working properly now I'm approaching it we still have 44% power now I'm putting off the record button for a while so everything seems to be working still uh, except that there are some something different like landing it's, it landed too fast it's almost bounced off the ground and I noticed that when you move sideways the gimbal actually doesn't compensate that much maybe we have to recalibrate the gimbal now let me try some more controls I'll try to fly this more it's now at 44% power and Okay, let's arm it again. And here we go. Now let's test the control. I'm going to push it on the other side of the soccer field. And let's see if we can... 
going down. So I have to raise it up. Mm -hmm. Something's wrong. I have to turn it around now. And there it goes. Is it going down? No, it's not going down. I think the, the wind influenced the going down part. And let me rotate again. Let's see. Okay. It's kind of scary, right? <laughs> this is a very powerful drone. Not unlike the Mini. Now you see this. Uh, if I push it on the left, You see, if I push it on the left, so the camera also swivels on the left, on the right. So something is wrong with part of, yeah, compensation there from the machine. I'm not sure what is it. But as much as the control, it's very responsive still. See, I can rotate. I can go fast and slow and brake and go up still very responsive at this time yeah let's go to the riverside and then return before there we go now we're heading towards the river and Here we are at the river now. Oh, is it going down? So we are now on top of the water. Now if we turn it around and look back at us, and there goes the warning on the low battery, so I have to return back now. So let's fly it back to us. Okay, let's tr land it manually, slowly. Maybe it's much better manually. And there you go. After one year of being inside the cabinet, because it was difficult to fly, and of course the pandemic is up there, We may need to calibrate some of the parts though, uh, especially the gimbal, because it's not compensating well. The controls are still amazing, and the power is still good. I think I flew for 13 minutes, and yeah, we have a little bit more of the battery, we have 18% more of the battery. Uh, now I'm thinking of selling this, what do you think? Should I sell this? I call this a dragon because it's too big and now I don't use it because we have the smaller ones which are more heavy to carry. But anyway, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. What do you think of the Inspire One version 2? Still working pretty well I guess. See you again on the next video. Goodbye.